Applied Deep Learning for Computer Vision Tasks, Section 6, Introduction to Combinets. In this video, we'll cover convolutional neural networks, combinets, architecture overview, and convolutional neural network layer. Let's get started. Convolutional neural networks, CNNs or combinets. Convolutional neural networks are a class of deep neural networks that is most commonly applied to analyzing visual imagery. They are also known as shift invariant or space invariant artificial neural networks based on their shared weights architecture and translation invariance characteristics. They have applications in image and video recognition, recommender systems, image classification, medical analysis, natural language processing, and financial time series. CNNs are regularized versions of multi-layer perceptrons. Multi-layer perceptrons usually mean fully connected networks. That is, each network in one layer is connected to all neurons in the next layer. The fully connectedness of these networks makes them prone to overfitting data. Look at ways of regularization, including adding some form of magnitude measurement of the weights to the loss function that we've seen previously. CNNs take a different approach towards regularization. They take advantage of a hierarchical pattern in data and assemble a more complex patterns using smaller and simpler patterns. Therefore, on the scale of connectedness and complexity, CNNs are in the lower extreme. Convolutional neural networks were inspired by biological processes in that the connectivity pattern between neurons resembles the organization of animal visual cortex. Individual cortical neurons respond to stimuli only in restricted region or the visual field known as the receptive field. The receptive fields of different neurons partially overlap such that they cover the entire visual field. CNNs use relatively little preprocessing compared to other image classification algorithms. This means that the network learns the filters that in traditional algorithms were hand engineered. This independence from prior knowledge and human effort in feature design is a major advantage. The name convolutional neural network indicates that networks employ a mathematical operation called convolution. Convolution is a specialized kind of linear operation and convolutional networks are simply neural networks that use convolution in place of a general matrix multiplication at least one of the layers. An architecture overview, a convolutional neural network consists of an input and an output layer, as well as multiple hidden layers. The hidden layers of a CNN typically consist of a series of convolutional layers that convolve with the multiplication or other dot product. The activation function is commonly a ReLU layer or rectified linear unit layer, and is subsequently followed by an additional convolutions such as pooling layers, fully connected layers, and normalization layers, referred to as hidden layers because their inputs and outputs are masked by the activation function and the final convolution. Though the layers are colloquially referred to as convolutions, this is only by convention. Mathematically, it is technically a sliding dot product or cross correlation. This has significance for the indices in the matrix in that it affects how the weight is determined at a specific index point. Images, for example, in the CIFAR 10 dataset are tensors to the size 32, 32 by 3, where 32 wide, 32 high, and three color channels for each image. Components take advantage of the three-dimensional input nature of images and have 3D volumes of neurons with a specified width, height, and depth. Depth here is the third dimension of an activation volume. We can see an image here of a convnet network with working with 3D volumes of neurons at each layer, and thus each layer transforms a 3D input tensor to a 3D output volume of neuron activations. Here, the red layer indicates or contains the image of width, height, and depth, in this case, depth of three, with red, green, blue color channels. In the past, traditional multi-layer perceptron models have been used for image recognition. However, due to full connectivity between nodes, they suffered from the curse of dimensionality and did not scale well with high resolution images. For example, a thousand by thousand pixel image with RGB color channels has three million weights, which is too high to feasibly process efficiently at scale with full connectivity. Such a network does not take into account the spatial structure of the data, treating input pixels that are far apart in the same way as pixels that are close together. This ignores locality of reference in image data, both computationally and semantically. Thus, full connectivity of neurons is wasteful for purposes such as image recognition that are dominated by spatially local input patterns. We solve this by using the ConvNet model, which specifically has convolutional layer, which convolves the input with filter of the size of the receptive field. That is, regardless of the image size, if we use tiling regions, say, of 5x5, five five, each with the same shared weights, requires only 25 learnable parameters. In this way, it allows us to reduce the number of parameters by sharing the same parameters across the entire visual field, allowing for a deeper network with fewer parameters. We use three main architectures to build convnet architectures. 
we use the convolutional layer, which computes the output of neurons that are connected to local regions in the input, each computing a dot product between their weights and a small region they are connected to in the input volume. This may result in a volume such as 32 by 32 by 12 if we desired to, to use 12 filters. Pooling layer performs a downsampling operation along the spatial dimensions width and height, resulting in volumes such as 16 by 16 by 12. Fully connected layer used to compute the class scores resulting in volume of size 1 by 1 by 10 and each of the 10 numbers corresponds to a class score, such among the 10 categories in the CIFAR 10 dataset. The convolutional layer parameters are a set of learnable filters. Each filter is usually small in equal width and height and has the same depth of the input volume. During a forward pass, we convolve or slide each filter across the width and height of the input volume and compute dot products between the entries of the filter and input at any position. Each dot product forms a 2D activation map. Intuitively, we will learn filters that activate when we, they see some type of visual feature, for example, an edge at some angle on the first layer, or eventually more complex patterns at deeper layers of the network. Depending on the amount of filters we set for the convolutional layer, we stack the 2D activation maps for each filter along the depth dimension and produce an output volume. The filter size is equivalent to the receptive field and the size of the local region that each neuron connects to in the input volume. There are three hyperparameters that control the output volume of the convolutional layer. Depth number of filters to use is the depth of the output volume. Stride to slide the filter. For example, when we have a stride of one, we move filters one pixel at a time, or if we have a stride of two, the filter jumps two pixels at a time as we slide them around, producing a smaller output volume spatially. Padding, sometimes it is convenient to pad the input with zeros around the border where we can set the amount. This again controls the output volume of spatial size. Often, it is desirable to exactly preserve the spatial size of the input volume. The spatial size of the output volume can be computed as a function of the input volume size w. The kernel receptive field of the convolutional layer neurons f, the stride with which they are applied s, and the amount of padding p used on the border. The formula to calculating how many neurons will fit in a given volume is given by this formula, which you'll be able to drive yourself. If this number is not an integer, then the strides are incorrect and the neurons cannot be tiled to fit across the input volume in a symmetric way. In general, setting zero padding, in this case p equals f minus 1 divided by 2, when the stride is 1, ensures the input volume and output volume will have the same size spatially. A common setting for the hyperparameters is f is 3, s is 1, and p is 1. Let's look at an example now. So below is a convolutional layer demo. Of all volumes, the input volume in blue and the weight volumes in red and the output volume in green, they are visualized with each depth slice stacked in rows. The input volume is of size W is 5, H is 5, and D or depth is 3. And the convolutional layer parameters are K is 2, F3, S2, and P is 1, where K is the number of filters. Here we have two filters of size 3 by 3 and they are applied with a stride of 2. However, the output volume size has a spatial size of 3. In summary, we've covered ConvNet's architecture overview and the convolutional neural network layer.